What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing the Slave Pens dungeon, which is from the expansion The Burning Crusade. This is one of the underwater, this is one of those instances from this, from that, from, you know, the, un this is like area, this is like a, one of those ones that takes place a little bit underwater. So, yeah. Here's a little trick to save you some time. If you only take out the slave handlers, these guys, these guys, you can ignore them, but what happens if you don't do that? Here, I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. You get some additional hits right there. So yeah. If you decide to eliminate these guys, one of them will aid the other. The slaves will literally thank you for freeing them. These are you guys are. Bug strokes, which are well, oh, so what's this content about? You, some of you may be asking me. I be some of you asked me what is this content about? It's a, it's about like doing like many people. Some people don't know what it's like to solo instances or. Some people don't even know what the old content was because they, they never got a chance to do the, it at the current game time. People, some people never got to do this during current content, so... For the people who never got to see it during current content, I'm showing them what it looks like. So they don't... I'm showing you what it looks like. So... Can you still defeat these guys? No. And yes, these slaves eventually disappear. These guys over here kind of watch your help. Free number. I think there's like some. I know there's probably like some. Oh yeah, see the guys disappeared. I just realized that. This dungeon also has three bosses. This guy is the betrayer. Not the betrayer from Black Temple, but the betrayer. This instance version of the betrayer. I have a certain far away use ability I have here I can just use right, right now. You brought this on your cellar. He said, he told the, to himself, he said, I deserve this. Well, he's right because he's the betrayer. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you're wondering why these things have more health than they do in normal difficulty is because I'm doing this in QR it's because I'm doing a lot of these dungeons in the hardest difficulty that it offers. And back in the earlier days I can like even from as early as like the Burning Crusade instances only had like a certain only ha go up to like back in Burning Crusade days it only goes up to like heroic. Uh, this is a bunch of Naga right here. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, you ain't gonna stop me, alright. I just realized, okay, I know where I'm going, so I'm gonna go over here. This leads to the next area. And there's another boss in this area. This leads to another boss that is in this area. He's the crack, this one, this guy is the crackler. I'm going to do a little trick here real quick to, so I can be able to loot this, so I can be able to show you that I can loot this boss. He's one of the bosses that patrol around the room area. Also, he's a gigantic boss. Holy cow. Some people don't realize that this guy, too, is a gigantic boss. The final boss is an interesting one. But so I, I'm not gonna. No worries, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm just letting you know the final boss is quite interesting. No, only I'm only letting you know that the final boss is quite interesting. So, so. Our work is almost complete. <laughs> the NPCs are, yeah. This thing like NPC like stuff. I just, I'm gonna do a little trick. Boom! <laughs> Got him, baby. Alright. This yeah. is out. Groups of bog strucks are coming. Those guys are dead. Illidan reigns supreme. This is the one that does that to me. So, uh, I know I have like quite a bunch of thing on, but still. So can so if you wonder what happens, what happens if you free this guy? Extra Naga ads start to show up. If you speak to him again, he'll just give you the he'll give you the mark of right ability, which gives you nature nature resistant, which increases nature resistant by ten, and also increases every other stat by five percent. The final boss is this guy. I'll show you. I'll defeat him in a very dramatic way. Oh yeah! By the way, this guy is on the water. By the way, the final boss fight takes place on the water. So you actually have a limited amount of time to eliminate this guy. If you were gonna submerge yourself the whole time. You have to defeat this too quick if you were underwater. What do you think many of you can do nowadays? I know there's a certain pet that meant for the for foreign instances have critters. The solution to this is if you have a certain pet out, which is this thing right here, the Sunblade Micro Defender is one of the pets that can kill off critters. If they are in if the critters are in your way, you can use this guy to eliminate them. When you if you need to. Well, I'll dismiss him so I could do a proper thing here. I will also get a little bit ahead of this cage. All right. Well, and also, well, guys, that's the end of this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to positively, make sure to for real positively comment, like, and subscribe. Tap the notification. Bell, yeah, I was right about that. Have notification bell, share this with others, and I'll see y'all in the
in the next handy dandy video of mine. Bye. Bye Z. Also, do this for you guys too.